Wow, this indi- individual uh, on this, again, salute the champion recipient. Is a member of the Durham Public School Board of Education since 2004. Uh, Manny Fort Brown is a Durham native. Who attended the Great Hillside High School. Mm. Holds a bachelor's degree in English from St. Augustine's University. Master's degree in speech pathology from North Carolina Central University, man. And also participated in doctoral uh, studies at Howard uh, University, uh, the real HU, a lot of people call it. Mm-hmm. I just know that she uh, was president of the uh, the the North Carolina, uh, if you will, uh, school board association, and, and was on a national school board of directors. So she's been doing work around education, and we're happy to have and have a conversation with our next highlight daylight recipient of the Salute the Champions 2019 class. Minnie Fort Brown. Minnie, good morning. How you doing? I am wonderful. Good morning, Errol. How are you? Uh, we doing good. We're doing good. Myself with K-Mac and Jasmine up, 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 up What's in the up, studio. What's up, K-Mac and Jasmine? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good morning. Good. Pretty good. Well, well, you know, we uh, you were nominated and obviously was selected for the 2019 class for Salute the Champions. And, and why do we do, do this, K-Mac? Do you remind many why we do this? One of the reasons we do this, amongst many, but we wanted to take this opportunity and the platform that we have and recognize individuals, African Americans um, and people of color that are doing great things in our own community in the places that they stand and leading from positions that you normally wouldn't think about someone leading. But there are a lot of people mm-hmm. doing some, some significant things over a number of years that help make our community strong in areas of business, politics, education, etc. And Ms. Minnie Fort Brown is no exception. And she's just one of those individuals. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> so Minnie, uh, tell people why why education was was a choice of yours in terms of career ladder. Well, we know education is the is the means for us to achieve. Mm-hmm. As African Americans, that was our trans that was how we transcended uh through this racist, um, biased, um disenfranchised uh area of life that we're in. So for us as African Americans, it was education that was gonna be the leveler for us. So we were taught as we were growing up you need to be twice as good. That has been the mantra. That has been the guidepost for Mm -hmm. for our community, that we needed to be twice as good and sometimes even better than that Mm. to get to where we needed to be. So excellence was the mark. Excellence has always been the mark, and that's what we've reached for. So in, in, in our educational pursuits, and we knew that way, was through education. So that's why I've been on the grind for... (laughs) For all this time, yeah. <laughs> well, we're talking with Manny Fort Brown. Uh, we're talking to uh, Durham Board of Education. Yeah. And, you know, I'll get right into it. You know, we've had an opportunity to talk to quite a few recipients, and we talk about the common theme of perseverance and how important it is to kind of stick to things um, and just kind of keep pushing forward. And, you you know, in your career, in your, you know, in your time, you know, supporting education, is there is there really been a moment or been a time where you just, you know, you had to question, like, are we really making any progress or is we need to be doing something totally different? Well, you know, there are times when you, you, you sit back, have a cup of tea and say, you know, is this really, are we moving? Mm-hmm. And then when I go into my classroom at North Carolina Central University and I see those bright eyes and that, and that brilliance that sits before me, I know that we are. When I see the social justice um, that rises in my students, when I hear the questions that they have, I know we're making progress. I know we're making progress. We have, (laughs) oh, my goodness. When you see the little ones, Hmm. uh, it is no question. There are times when it's in our hands. Let me just say that. Let me just say that. That is what I've always believed. And I know you hear this background noise because I'm at the hospital. I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That's all right. But there our community has to understand that we set the standards and the vision for where our children are going to be. It starts with us. We may have those outside factors that come against us, that work against us, our poverty, um, uh, you know, a lack of access. Mm-hmm. But we are overcomers. We are overcomers. And as long as we continue to understand that and believe that mm. and work towards that, 
there's no force that can stop us. Wow. There, there is no force that can. So we have to Im- we have to embed that in our children, and that's why I stay on the grind. Right. You, somebody has to tell children that regardless of what the road looks like, you are an overcomer. You're going to read well. Excellence is your mantra. You're going to be you. You're the descendants of kings and queens. <laughs> You're the ones who who developed the who, who developed the, the sphinxes, the, the 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 mummies. You 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 are you are you are the you are the greater for excellence. So <clears throat> as long as we embed that in our children, they know that they can go far. And so and and, and we put examples before them, touchable examples before them. J. Cole, touchable yeah. examples. I listened to your interview mm-hmm. with the young man talking about J. Cole. You look at who he is. You look at just the people that surround you. You look at Zion. You look at you look at those guys that are on the court, that are on the field, mm-hmm. that are working hard. Because it doesn't come by osmosis. You're going to have to work hard. Yeah. And so right. this is why we look at athletes as examples of that. You gotta put the you gotta put the time in. <laughs> you gotta put the sweat in wow. to make this stuff happen. So that's what our community has to understand. No, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna come easy for you. No, it's going You're gonna have to work and work and work. And you're wow. gonna fall down and you're gonna get back up. Right, and that's 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 a great lesson to be learned. We came. We talked to Mindy Ford Brown, a, a Durham Board of Education, proud uh, member of Delta Sigma Theta. I want to throw that in, the, in there as well. Hey, <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey Mindy. Uh, so my last question, and I ask this to all the recipients, uh, is uh, who mo- who motivated you, and uh, and who do you look look up to? I have to say, my grandmother and my mother. Mm-hmm. My grandmother had a third grade education. And owned so much property in Durham. It was amazing. Mm. She was an entrepreneur. My mother was one of the first recipients of a PhD from North Carolina. It was North Carolina College at that time. Mm. So when I look at the wow. people in my legacy strand, I have, I have. It is in me. It is in my bloodline that I have to do what I do. Wow. Well, we're gonna leave oh, right there. Yeah. We're gonna leave Great right there. Hey, hey, thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on the twenty seventh of luncheon. You've been a, a, a major contributor to the community and to, to to people, young young people's lives. And keep on doing what you're doing. We appreciate you and we salute you. Thank you so much. Uh, I love you. I appreciate uh, you and I honor you for that. Uh, thank thank you. you. 